Shalom, this is Yitzchak Ruven from the Temple Institute. Today is the first day of March 2021. It's the 17th of Adar 5781. And as you can see, I'm standing in front of two. They're kind of hidden at the moment. Two parot adumot, two red heifers that the Temple Institute is raising here in Israel. And I'm giving you an update on their status. The last update was about uh, seven or eight months ago. And at the time we had two red heifers who were getting very close to the age where they could be converted into the ashes of the red heifer. But they had some white hairs, which we hope would go away. They didn't. So they are not kosher. Here are other parot, other heifers that are also approaching the right age. And they are 99.9% .9 red, but each one does have a few hairs that aren't red, which makes them pasul, which makes them not kosher in terms of being a red heifer. So again, as we explained last time we spoke, there is a chance that those white hairs could turn into red hairs. And so we just have to wait and see. So we're no closer than we were half a year ago when we last checked up on the cows, but takes patience and uh, we have lots of patience. We've been waiting 2,000 years. We'll wait a little bit longer till we get a perfectly red heifer so that we can proceed with preparing the ashes and arriving at a situation where we can actually achieve purity, uh, tahara, purity of the highest level, the level that's needed in order to do the service in the Holy Temple and for the pilgrims to actually arrive and bring their offerings. We're coming very close to Passover. And of course, on Passover, everyone in Israel is intended to bring a lamb for the Passover offering and to actually come with the lamb into the temple courtyards. And for that, we need the red heifer in order to achieve the temple purity that is necessary. So once again, Yitzhak Reuven from the Temple Institute here with our red heifers. We'll keep you updated. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.